This is a car program. There will be no cushions. There will be no rag rolling. No one will sing, and at the end of the series, no one will have a recording contract. This is our new base. And this is our purpose-built test track. There are no traffic jams here, well, apart from this one, and no bus lanes either. This is Top Gear. And in the show tonight, I put two supercars head-to-head. -head. Jason Dorr on what to do when car dealers attack. First fan short of three grand. But will that be enough? Richard Hammond will try to beat a speed camera and a star in a reasonably priced car. In tonight's programme, a supercar from a shed in Leicestershire. A rock star in our reasonably priced car. And how many motorbikes can you jump with a bus? In tonight's show, Granny's doing donuts. Is the new Mini any good? An ultimate force in a reasonably priced car. And a bed spring with a bike engine takes on the Zonda around our track. Tonight's Top Gear. Steve Coogan has a go in our reasonably priced car. Buying a used Nissan Skyline. Oh, 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 oh. And we give world rally champion Richard Burns a taste of his own medicine. Tonight's Top Gear. The most relaxing way to spend £280,000 on a car. Richard reveals our budget Bond car. And a floppy-haired star in our reasonably priced car. In tonight's Top Gear. Evidence that the French have gone mad. Evidence that the Germans have gone mad. And as an oasis of sanity, the grannies are back. I learn how to drive a Lotus Elise properly. And it's religious racing as we find the fastest faith. In tonight's Top Gear, a night in our reasonably priced car. Maserati's new coupe takes on our track. And lock up your door mirrors. We set out to find Britain's fastest white van driver. In tonight's Top Gear, the ultimate family cars. What is the best hot hatchback? And the Stig meets his match on our track. In tonight's Top Gear, the Mick Jagger of supercars. Our quest goes on to find Britain's fastest faith. And the Stig sorts out TVR's new coupe. On tonight's Top Gear, Richard Hammond in a V8 tumble dryer. The classiest way to bankrupt yourself. Wow. Wow. And we turn up the heat on the world's dullest car. On tonight's Top Gear, Jamie Oliver's Meals on Wheels. Oh, my Lord. A German sledgehammer in a velvet bag. And which is the fastest political party? Tonight, a new take on the world's worst BMW. The Starsky in our reasonably priced Hutch. And the world's finest supercars head to head. Tonight, a member of parliament in our reasonably priced car. A nice relaxing smoke in a new Aston Martin. And a mad jag gone bad. Tonight, a man-sized blast from the past. Renault puts a V6 rocket in your pocket. And which takes longer to change? A gearbox or a woman's outfit? On this week's Top Gear, the driving god does a track day. <laughs> a foie gras car with a luncheon meat badge. And we try to set a new land speed record. Tonight, a man behaving quickly in our reasonably priced car. Good. A piece of Monument Valley with wheels. And the world's best looking car in our hangar. Tonight, Richard and James enjoy life under canvas. An Alfa Romeo waving its arms around. And Darth Vader in a Honda Civic TIE Fighter R. Tonight, Captain Jean-Luc Picard at warp point 0001. The Dutch have made a car. 
and be still my beating heart, a new Vauxhall Saloon. Tonight, a £65,000 car for the people. A Range Rover at 45 degrees. And the new Bentley Coupe comes to our studio. In tonight's programme, as you've just seen, the Stig has gone top gun. James will be looking at the new 5 Series BMW. And I'll be giving myself a brain tumour. Tonight, we drive like this on the road. Stephen Fry in our reasonably priced car. And how many caravans can you jump in a Volvo? Tonight, James drives a car that you can hand on to your grandchildren. I engage reheat in a hot Saab. And Richard almost drowns. Tonight, Richard drives a green Lamborghini. James drives a blue Lamborghini. And I drive a yellow Lamborghini. Tonight, I attempt to destroy the indestructible. How fast can you go in a soft top before you lose your wig? And we momentarily silence Simon Cowell. Tonight, Richard drives a pair of wheeled accessories. I discover if the Australians are better at cars than they are at rugby. And James tries to finish the job of killing our Toyota. Tonight, Richard drives the new McLaren Mercedes. I try Birmingham's latest headbanger. Ow. And we stage the first ever Top Gear boffin burnout. Tonight, Audi's new V6 ankle bracelet. A moment of madness from Aston Martin. And Johnny Vegas in our reasonably priced car, which should be interesting since he can't drive. Tonight, Cameron Diaz tests Lamborghini's lightweight Murcielago naked. We drive Schumacher's F1 Ferrari. And our star in a reasonably priced car is Her Majesty the Queen. Tonight, an awful new car from Rover. A brilliant new car from Aston Martin. And the Apache helicopter gunship. Can it get missile lock on a Lotus Exige? Tonight, a pink Ford, a black man's Cadillac, and I go berserk in a silver arrow. Tonight, Jordan makes a boob in our Liana. Ferrari and Porsche go to war on our track. And we have some crashes on purpose. Tonight, some big challenges. Can you play darts with cars? Which is faster, a Ford or a Pigeon? And can this new Porsche break the lap record on our track? Tonight, for a herd's wardrobe on our track. Richard gets whacked with 800,000 volts. And we take three cars to the birthplace of British speed. Tonight, we ask, can you run a car on a poo? Have the Americans made something which can go round corners? And the new Jaguar XJS, is it any good? Tonight, James and Richard try their hand at minicabbing. Roger, thank you. I drive a smoking jacket from Holland. And our reasonably priced car says hello to Lionel Richie. Tonight, Richard says goodbye to a motoring icon. The fastest car in the world comes to our track. And how good is the Citroen 2CV in a crosswind? Tonight, James and Richard take some cabrios to the wilds of Scotland. I go skiing on the B4796. And can you parachute into a moving car? Tonight, James tries to get a sofa in a Volvo estate. The hamster goes to see the vet. And I go off-road in a BMW that can't. Just the thing for an already confused world. Another Porsche 911. We get sand in the trunks of three muscle cars. And how many bouncy castles can you jump in an ice cream van? Tonight, the Ferrari Enzo, the Jaguar XJ220, the Pagani Zonda, the McLaren F1, the Ferrari F40 and the Porsche Carrera GT. Tonight, Richard finds the world's maddest car in Switzerland. An absolutely fabulous star in our reasonably priced car. And the new Viper attempts to write its own name in rubber. Tonight, Richard wets himself in a small hatchback. 
We play Conkers with Caravans and a Clash of the Titans, Aston v Ferrari on our track. On tonight's show, James celebrates 50 years of guitar music in a Mercedes, a Broken Arrow star in our reasonably priced car, and I tackle the world's most formidable racetrack in a diesel. On tonight's show, how fast can a blind man get round our track? How much Porsche can you buy for 1,500 quid? And Britain's most successful recording artist ever is in our reasonably priced car. On tonight's show, Richard takes an American muscle car in a road movie across Lincolnshire. A four-door saloon goes head-to-head -head with a Lamborghini. And it's the Top Gear Awards for the best and worst cars of 2004. On tonight's show, it's all about challenges. Which can get down a mountain the fastest, a rally car or a bobsleigh? Are modern showroom cars faster than racing cars from not that long ago? And can a Formula One Renault get round our track in less than a minute? On tonight's show, we splash about in a supercharged German Army half-track. The What Not To Wear girls show us how not to drive. And I go Bo Selector in an aerial atom. Tonight, Toyota's new small car. Can it play football? The new Range Rover Sport. Can it outrun a 120mm tank shell? Great car. And James Nesbitt. How will he get on in our reasonably priced car? Tonight, old Jaguars. Should you buy one? Old BMWs. Are they as well made as we think? And old Mitsubishis, should you drive a car built by an aeroplane maker? Tonight, two British sports cars with forged papers. Doctor Who is the star in our reasonably priced car. And I splash out on a 70s roller. Tonight, I test the Cadillac CTS-V. Hammond tests the new BMW 3 Series. And we get three old ladies to test some small cars because we couldn't be bothered. Tonight, a Formula One world champion is the star in our reasonably priced car. The Jaguar E-Type and the Aston Martin DB5. And the British Army shoots me in the face. Tonight, question time comes to our reasonably priced car. Aston's DB9 racer comes to our track. And an offshore powerboat against a Mercedes SLR. Tonight, a rock star gets in a jam. Attacking the Nürburgring in a van. And is a car faster than a man? On tonight's show, I drive the Audi TT convertible in Iceland. Richard drives the Nissan 350Z convertible in Iceland. And James drives the Chrysler Crossfire convertible. Guess where? Tonight, Thunderbirds are go. We attempt a world record, and the most annoying car I've ever driven, shut up, turns out to be one of the best. Tonight, James May thinks he's a racing driver. <laughs> Richard Hammond thinks he's Jesus. And I think I'm going to be killed. Tonight, James tries his hand at being Beethoven. <laughs> Richard wrestles a rampaging bull, and I develop a sudden urge to marry my cousin. Tonight, how reliable is your car? How will this new British supercar fare on our track? And the new baby Aston, how does it perform as an R? Tonight, the best toys in the whole world. A car made on memory lane, Audi's new RS4 races a thin man up a thick cliff. Tonight, the chavtastic new Ford Focus. The transport minister is in our reasonably priced car. And Richard Hammond and I have a fight. Tonight, which is faster, a Renault or a bicycle? Helen MacArthur sets sail on our track. And how much supercar do you get for £10,000? Tonight, we drive the new Bugatti in Italy. We drive the new Bugatti in Switzerland and France. And we drive the new Bugatti in London. Tonight, can a Mazda go faster than a dog? Can a frog go faster than a Peugeot? 
isn't straight. And can I go faster than myself? Tonight, I drive the scariest car in the world. James drives the least scary car in the world. And we all drive a car with a monkey on the roof. Tonight, I ruin the tranquility of the Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> Richard ruins Iceland. Yeah! And we all ruin a local radio station. Tonight, I get a hot head. Ow, ow, I'm on fire. Richard gets another Top Gear dog. And James has some trouble with wind. Tonight, I investigate some new in-car dogging technology. Richard races a man dressed as a squirrel. And with a wing and a prayer, the Koenigsegg is back on our track. Tonight, the new Citroen C6, hovercraft or horse manure. Jackie Stewart teaches Captain Slow how to drive. And don't bother watching the World Cup, because we've sorted it already. Tonight, we drive a Formula One car indoors. Hannibal Lecter is in our reasonably priced car, and we go on a caravan holiday. It's not wide enough. Tonight is a Peugeot faster than two men. Has Lamborghini gone mad again? And can we build a whole car in eight hours? Tonight, Noble's difficult third album comes to our track. The art of being a white van man. And the Suzuki Liana is back with some bloke called Jensen Button. Tonight, Jaguar's supercharged XKR versus its twin sister. Why do roadworks take so long? Come on, put your back into it, you, man. And Jamie Oliver prepares a delicious lap in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, Hugh Grant stars in our reasonably priced car. And is the new Audi TT any good? We find out by playing golf. Tonight, one small stumble for man as we build a space shuttle. I drive a nuclear bomb disguised as a Mercedes. And Simon Pegg makes a hot fuzz in our reasonably priced car. Help! Tonight, we try to grow our own petrol. What? I drive the new Lamborghini quite badly. And the cool war muse Kristen Scott Thomas is in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, we cut some cars in half with saws. Richard smokes a horse. And who's in our reasonably priced car? Oh, it's his assistant. Tonight, James May faces trial by water. Richard Hammond faces trial by fire. And I drive a Ferrari on the moon. Tonight, James drives a Rolls-Royce. Richard drives a Bugatti Veyron. And I drive something that isn't either of those things. Tonight, the Stig tests a tube train. Richard tests a pair of shorts. And I try my hand at running. Tonight, James races a man in wellies. Richard crashes some motorhomes. And I close down Manchester Airport. Tonight, in a well-balanced show, James gets egg on his face. Richard runs himself over, and I power slide the new Aston Martin DBS. Tonight, Compo takes me for a spin in a car from his youth. Richard tries to drive a fast car without crashing, and Lewis Hamilton faces his toughest test yet, the Suzuki Liana. Tonight, we take part in our first ever motor race. James tests the new Fiat 500 near some youths on bicycles. And the Ascari A10. Just how fast is this thing? Tonight, the great, the good and the rubbish in the Top Gear Awards. We go on a motoring holiday with the Stig. And Doctor Who travels through space and time a bit more slowly than usual. Speed up! Tonight, can an Austin Allegro fly? Can we solve the fuel crisis? And making a better police car, how hard can it be? Tonight, Audi's dynamic ride control tested to the limit in the Alps. Variable torque split transmissions given a workout on our track. And Merck's 190 mile an hour black on the edge in Wales. Tonight, how much passion can you get for a thousand pounds? Oh my God, the brakes. How much soul can you get for a thousand pounds? And how much pain can you get for a thousand pounds? Tonight, we completely save the countryside. James and I completely ruin London. 
Can there be dragons in the reasonably priced car? Tonight, Richard spins off the track twice. JK tries to get to number one. And Germany or Britain, which is best? Tonight, the brighter, whiter way to ruin your underpants. How much lorrying can you get for £5,000? And Michael Parkinson has a go in t reasonably priced car. On tonight's holiday programme, we go to San Francisco in California, we have a night out in Reno, Nevada, and we end up on the salt flats of Bonneville. Tonight, James goes racing in Finland. Richard tries out the future of motoring in Japan. Tonight, cut up some wood near Godalming. Tonight, we have a race to Blackpool. The new Lamborghini comes to our studio, and at last, the Bugatti Veyron is on our track. Tonight, the Steg climbs into a bucket of hot wallpaper paste. Richard sorts out public transport, and James gets beaten up by a boat. Oh, tonight, Boris Johnson is the mayor in our reasonably priced car. Yeah. Jeremy attempts an old-fashioned, sensible road test of the new Ford Fiesta. And has communism ever produced a good car? Tonight, I look at the future of sports cars. James investigates the future of quite literally everything. And Richard Hammond smashes up another caravan. Tonight, Richard tries to start a motorbike. James fills his car with petrol. And I get a British Rail suntan. Tonight, we throw a chair over a hedge. A quite interesting man drives our reasonably priced car. And for the first time ever, the Bugatti Veyron races the McLaren F1. Tonight, we shout at the government. A man drives a Subaru through a building. And a dog goes in a car. Tonight, the fastest man in the world on our track. You don't call it water lightning for nothing. The slowest man in the world falls asleep. And we literally set fire to Dorset with a machine gun. Tonight, we save the entire world. We test a fat spaniel from Jaguar. And we annoy France's second best racing drive. Tonight, I wear some goggles. Richard falls down a small slope. <laughs> And James says hello to a man. All right, mate. Tonight, Richard has a crisis. <laughs> Some sheep on our track. And James and I go to the laboratory. Tonight, James gets lost in a Lamborghini. Richard drives over a bridge in a Ferrari. And I wear a small hat in an Aston Martin. Tonight, James drives a milk float. Richard says look out backwards. Quite cool! Ah. And I cut my finger on some aluminium. Tonight, James wears a stripy jumper. Richard drives a stripy Lamborghini. And we name the greatest car maker in the world. Tonight, we drive down a sewer. We power slide across a field. And we do some other things as well. I can't see where I'm going. Tonight, I get scared half to death on our track. We host our own art exhibition, and the world champion is in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, the stupidest car in the world. A Vauxhall you might actually like, and who's won what in the Top Gear Awards ceremony. Tonight, in new serious Top Gear, They're on fire. James catches fire, Richard knocks something over, and I crash a Reliant Robin into a lamppost. Tonight, James gets wet. An actual spin doctor on our track, and the steer laps a reliant robin. Tonight, Richard drives a muscle car. I wear some unusual trousers, and there's a wizard in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, I wear a hat. Richard wears a hat. And James wears a hat. Tonight, Cameron Diaz in our reasonably priced car. I repeat, Cameron Diaz in our reasonably priced car. Sorry, Stig, totally f it up. And she's brought Tom Cruise along. <laughs> Tonight, Richard wears a towel. James and I eat some crisps. And a fly is in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, a dog won't get in a car. A flip chart falls over. 
And a man from Liverpool drives a car. <laughs> Tonight, a sausage gets burnt. A sheep falls over. And our track is all wet. Tonight, a fat man gets murdered. A donkey gets overtaken. And James wears ladies' underwear on his head. Tonight, our track's a bit foggy. A man eats a snack. And we move about in a caravan. And tonight, Richard wears a blue hat. James wears a different hat. And I wear a hat with things on it. Tonight, a spaniel in a moon buggy. A fat man in a Kia. Whoa, there she goes. And a race against the Lord God Almighty. Come on! Tonight, Richard Hammond buys a cup of coffee. James May slips on some snow. I hate snow. And we show a picture of Steve McQueen. Tonight, I find a bicycle in a river. James annoys a dog. <laughs> and Richard jumps over a dike. Tonight, I talk to two old ladies. Richard makes a phone call. And James sniffs his own armpit. Tonight, I use a machine. <laughs> James writes on a blackboard, and Richard lobs fruit into a caravan. Tonight, I talk to a man in sunglasses. James draws a square on a wall, and Richard plays with a soldier's chopper. Tonight, James asks a girl for a favor. No. Richard listens to a man, and I polish a bishop. Tonight, I do a skid. Richard steals some tires, and James gets kicked in the face. Tonight, I drive around a field. James measures a runway, and Richard lays a cable. Tonight, I wear a hat. James wears a hat, and Richard is behind a low wall. Tonight, Maserati brings some V8 thunder to our track. Mercedes brings some smoke, and we wave goodbye to Saab. Tonight, we get very cold and wet. I reenact the Battle of Britain. Oh, nuts. And there's a blur in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, Raikkonen. Oops. Evans. Can't believe it. Slash. And bash as we do proper motor racing. Tonight, I point at a thing. Richard walks through a shop. And James has some bananas. Tonight, I stop for petrol. Richard wears some sunglasses. And James sees some shirts. Tonight, James draws on a board. Damn. Richard waves at a man. And I run away from a table. Tonight, I hold up a jar. James points at a hill. And Richard eats a sandwich. Tonight, I play tennis. Richard points at a minibus. And James shakes hands with two men. Tonight, a dog looks over a wall. We drive some chairs. And the Stig does a skid in a supercharged Jag. Tonight, Richard drives a new Lamborghini. James and I go on a caravan holiday. And a rock god is in our reasonably priced car. Tonight, I point at some fields. Richard minces round a corner, and James describes his ideal night in. Vomit and sputum and other bodily secretions. Tonight, two swans move their heads about. I eat a shoe, and James says he's not fat. I'm not fat. Tonight, I eat a cabbage. James throws a bird out of a car. And Richard forgets the abbreviation for America. USB. Tonight, I sit on a rock. James gets oh, something in his eye. No. And Richard says, Mommy! Oh, Mommy! Tonight, Richard opens a glove box. James pulls a face. And I ask an important question. Have you ever put toothpaste on your testicles? Tonight, I move my eyes. Richard vandalizes a road. There you go. And James says cow. Cow! 
Tonight, Richard tests a van. I drive an old brown Porsche. And James uses a telephone. Tonight, a BMW i8 at full chat in the Yorkshire Moors. The cream of Hollywood on our track. And a pointless thing about old Land Rovers. Tonight, the new Porsche Cayman on our track. The Ferrari, the Ferrari at the limit in Italy, Italy. And an old Peugeot goes past some goats. Tonight, James experiences the sheer grunt of a Chevrolet Silverado. I go airborne in a Ford Velociraptor, and Richard Hammond carries some wood. Tonight, I try a classic Jaguar on our track. Hammond has a blast in Mazda's new MX-5. And James says, ow, 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 ow. Tonight, James falls out of a boat, I have a fight with a gear lever, and... Hello. Oh, dear. This is a bit embarrassing.